Welcome to Spatry's Cup of Linux. In this episode, we're going to cover a really cool applet that you can put on your panel. And this applet is called Docbar X. Now before I get started, I want to show you that uh, if you look at the top of the screen here, you will see that this window list comes standard on most Ubuntu or uh, derivative installations. And while this is nice, uh, and it is configurable, it doesn't show you a preview of the windows that you have available. So I'm going to show you this one here, and here it is. Docbar X works similar to uh, the way that Windows 7 displays uh, your open windows. You click the icon and it will move to the desktop where uh, where um, the particular window that you want to go to is open. Notice here though that the that the uh, that the panel applet up here only shows Firefox on this screen. But when I come back over to this screen it shows all of them right here. All right, so that's one thing I like about this one. Now, many distributions may have this installed already. You just simply need to check in your uh, in your uh, menu, and that would be under under accessories. And uh, if you would see the Docbar X preferences, then you have it installed. If you do not have it installed, you can simply issue some commands into your terminal. Now, since I already have this installed, it doesn't make any sense for me to issue those commands, but they will be in the show notes. Once you've issued those commands, then you'll have another command that will restart your uh, panel so that you can add this. And then it's just as simple as right-clicking on your panel, selecting Add to Panel, and then selecting the Docbar X from there. And uh, let me see, where is it at here? There it is, the Docbar X applet. Once you have that installed, then it's easy to configure. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. I never use this, uh, this uh, panel here. Sometimes this is a little tricky. You got to get the mouse on there just the right way. <laughs> there we go. Remove that from the panel. All right. So let's go into our Docbar X preferences, and there's a number of things that you can do with this. You can change its theme, and there are a number of them listed if you install them. Additionally, you can change the active uh, color, the active windows color. All right, so for now, it's showing as blue, but you can change the color to anything you want. Let's try orange, okay? And as you can see, it applied that change immediately, which is kind of cool. And there's so many... Uh, I want to go back to my original color, though, or maybe even uh, change it to something that, that fits my theme a little bit better. I think I can go with that one. <laughs> All right. Additionally, you have a number of other options available to you. You can align this differently. You can select a delay with which uh, your uh, thumbnails will appear. You can change the size of the previews to your liking. You can even group the buttons together if you wish, much like you would see in Windows 7. So all in all, this is a really nice application. Uh, I like it because it's compact, and you can put so many more things, it fits so many more things on your panel, especially if space is a concern. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and fill out the comment form below, and I'll be happy to answer the questions the best that I can. And thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again next time.